Well, we continue our coverage of the disturbing story about a preschool owner accused of alleged sexual assaults on two children at his daycare center. Eyewitness News learned just a short time ago that the Department of Human Services has ordered the preschool to cease from operating, given the nature of the charges against the owner. Our Joe Holden is outside the daycare center with more. Joe? Yuki, good evening. Of course, serious criminal charges and now those human services alleged violations and the trouble is deepening for the owner, Duncan Round, of that preschool. There's still disbelief and disgust for those who know the owner of Sprouts Preschool. The state on Thursday shuttered the South Philadelphia facility on 9th Street 24 hours after its owner, Duncan Round, was brought up on child sex abuse charges. Yeah, my wife worked here about eight years ago. Adrian King says his wife back then was a preschool teacher. He said one red flag they couldn't ignore, Duncan Round appeared to have a tumultuous personal life. I'm surprised it lasted this long, actually. Philadelphia police arrested Round, a 53-year-old from Medford Lakes, and charged him with indeviate sexual intercourse, allegedly involving a 5-year-old girl and boy. We went out to the location, the daycare, executed a search warrant, and processed the scene with crime scene unit, and we did recover some physical evidence. Round made bail today, but his troubles are mounting. But the criminal charges left the state little choice in allowing the preschool to continue operating. In an order obtained by Eyewitness News, it read there was immediate and serious danger to the life or health of the children in care. Uh, my heart goes out to the, uh, the, the parents of the children. I feel like it's just a, an extreme violation of people's uh, safety and, and sanity. Now, one mother we did speak to said of the charges, they were completely uncharacteristic of Duncan Round. Tonight, he is free on after posting 20% of his $200,000 bail. Uh, he did not respond to an Eyewitness News request for comment. Reporting live in South Philadelphia, Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Joe, thank you.